So you guys asked for another collab with Charlie Morgan. And so in this video, I brought on Charlie again to talk about lead follow up because right now with your clients, you might be getting them a lot of leads. But are you actually taking care of the lead follow up, right? If the business doesn't have some sort of a follow up system or some sort of a sales funnel for when the leads are coming in their pipeline, then your agency is basically useless. So what you want to be doing, and I do this with my agency as well, is that you want to switch from the from being a, just a lead generation agency where you just run ads and you're easily replaceable to actually being an agency that doesn't just bring leads, but actually turns those leads into actual customers for the business. And by the way, Charlie is in the 300 agencies discord. So if you want to join the discord, we have around 50 spots left. So if you ever considered joining 300 agencies, now's the time to join. So with that being said, I'll cue the interview and I'll leave you guys with the golden nuggets that Charlie has to drop. Get away. That's fun, man. All right, guys. So I'll just I'll sort of intro myself because I did a video with you before, but people might not have seen it. So um, just for context, so I've obviously built and scaled my own marketing agency. It's called Northflow Consulting. Um, we scaled to about 64 done a few clients at our peak when we were doing sort of seven figures. Um, got a bit too chaotic, so we brought it back into a coaching program. But I was explaining to Thomas before the call, like one of the big problems that we had when we were building like the done for you aspect of it was like, we'd get clients leads, but then they just wouldn't book in for appointments or they wouldn't show up for appointments. And we had like, I think at one point, and we discovered this system, we had about 30 clients all done for you. And the, the, the appointment booking rates and show rates were kind of like, all right. But we had one client that was pulling like a 90% appointment booking show rate every time. And I was like, how are you doing this? And he sort of explained this process to us and we worked with him to sort of um, collaborate with it. Um, what I'm going to do um, is pop, because there's a more detailed video on how this works. I'll put it on my channel, um, if that's all right, on like Friday or something. Um, are you posting this one? Yeah, I think I think before Friday I can post it definitely. That's cool. So like if you guys want a more sort of detailed overview of how it works, uh, my channel will be in the description and then we'll go through it. But I'll sort of just walk you through it at a high level. So it's obviously um, it's quite complicated, as you can see here from from a sort of, you know, from afar. Um, if I just zoom in slightly and sort of get this Mario ball going. So we call it like the golden follow up system. Um, and what it looks like is, is basically like this at a high level. Um, what we found is that, like, if you don't have like a proper, predictable, consistent way of following up on people that have become leads or have booked appointments, but you don't have any way to sort of keep contacting them everyone falls through the cracks. Like I know some marketing agencies that have a sharp rate of like, like 20, 30% on their appointments and their appointment booking rate from leads is also dreadful. So this will fix the problem for you. And like I said, I'll pop the, the more detailed video on my channel. But so the way it works is it starts out with these um, calling and texting scripts um, that we sort of use to provide um, sort of information, right? So this is the, the appointment booking script. So once a lead comes through, for the agency, you use this script. Now, we like you can teach this to your clients or you can do it for your clients, right? I'd recommend doing it for them because if you do, you can charge way more money. <laughs> and like also a lot of clients have the objection of like lead quality and like show up rate. Like what yep. you can do is you can actually show them this. Um, because I'll pop the I'll pop a copy and pasteable sort of thing on this on Friday. But like if a client's like, well, how do I know the leads are gonna show up? If you show them like this Miro board. And like the scripts you use and everything like they'll be like oh okay these guys have actually fought through the problem they're not just you know chatting some sort of rubbish so we use this script um and we'll sort of you know it's just it's pretty straightforward and we've got this sort of conversation mapped out so all you're doing is you're calling up and saying like hey it's charlie from northflow consulting um well you wouldn't say from northflow consulting you say from the client's business right yeah um but you know you call them now the thing about this and then we've got some other um like phone scripts and like voicemail scripts and stuff down here but what we've learned is that sometimes you have to just follow up on people like relentlessly. Yeah. So we've actually built a system here. I'll sort of go down the middle to begin with, and then we'll sort of answer these questions. So it sort of starts with day one. So what we're doing is like, we're calling, we're leaving a voicemail and we're texting or emailing people like on day one when the lead was captured. So what this means is like, first of all, we're double dialing them because if you call someone, if they have their phone on silent, the call won't go through. 
But if you call them and call them again within 30 seconds, then the call will show up. And then because you've called them twice, it will go through and they'll obviously think it's important. So they'll, they'll, they'll pick up. Um, then you leave a voicemail, they don't answer. And then you also text and email them. Um, and then we do it once again on day one and another time on day one. So if a lead comes through at 3 p.m., we'll call them within the hour, right? Um, and then again, like if they don't respond, we'll call them again like two hours later. And if they still don't respond, we'll call them again after that. And so like, it's really call intensive, but it works really well because like in order for someone to answer the phone, you usually need to call them like six to eight times over like one or two weeks. Exactly. And the reason behind that is because the more familiar they become with the phone number, the more likely they actually are to respond. <laughs> Cause like, if you see a random phone number, you typically won't pick up, but if that number keeps calling you, you must think it's important. So then what we do is we have day two. So once again, we call, we leave a voicemail, we text or email them. Um, and then on day two, we once again, call them again. So in the first like two days, we're already calling them like five times. And like most people will call their leads like once. And then like, they're like, oh, these people just don't want to book appointments. So they don't want to show up. And this is, this is more specifically for that sort of lead to appointment booking rate. But what we found is that by following this process, prospects are so familiar with your business that like they always show up because it's like, you know, you've put so much effort into getting them there. So they feel bad for not showing. And then we repeat it. So day three is the same thing. You call double dial voicemail, text or email, and then you call them again later. And then the same thing on day four, right? And it's like the secret to this whole thing is in the first like four or five days, you're literally just calling them like 15 times. Um, in fact, exactly how many times is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, like 10, 10 to 15 times. Um, and like a lot of people just think that that's like, it's a mindset problem. Cause a lot of people think it's like, oh, like if I do that, like it will annoy people and they won't show up and like, you know, it'll just piss them off. But like, we've actually found that. Yeah. They're actually hasn't... grateful for you following up. Yeah. It's like, especially if it's like what we found, this works really well with gyms, but it also works really well with like med spas, with chiropractors, with like dentists, all those niches that do, do lead gen. And it's because you can follow up like with good intentions. It's like, look, you you want this offer that the gym has, or you want this, this offer that the med spa has, or you want this offer that the lawyer has, whatever it is. It's like the whole idea of it is it's like, you're just sort of blasting people like up to 15 times over the course of like a two week period, basically. And like, like I mentioned, like people think that this is really extreme. Um, and we actually label this here for clients, like, you know, the lead follow-up process may seem extreme, and that's obviously because it is, but it's one of the most effective lead nurturing processes in the world. And you will, you'll get results. Like people, a lot of the time, like people just have this pain avoidance and they, they, they believe that the follow-up process is going to piss people off because they don't want to do it. And so they start putting these, these things in the way, but like, if you actually like had an open mind and implemented this sort of thing, you know, for all of the leads that you generated for people over the course of like a 14 to 30 day period, like you will get like 90% of your leads will book appointments because they kind of don't have much of a choice. Like you're con you're, there's like 30 points of contact and it's ridiculous. So yeah, that's, that's sort of like the, the nuts and bolts of it. Um, in terms of like when to follow up and stuff, I mean, there's obviously some information here. I'll, I'll pop this in the more detailed video, but Thomas, obviously you've got a, um, lead gen business. Do you have any specific questions about how it works or like any questions you think other people might have, like without going into like way too much detail about it? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, we, we pretty much do the same thing. Like we try and call two times a day. We don't call three times a day, uh, mm -hmm. but call two times a day. Um, you know, the first day, then try the next day, try the next day. Um, so yeah, I mean, volume is a big part of it. Like, you know, when following up, you want to have personalization. So are your calls, are your outreach, are your like messages personalized? Like, do they use the client's name? Mm -hmm. Um, and then do you have volume? So like, how much are you following up with them? Like, after that first message, like, are you, are you, are you just giving up after they don't reply? Are you following up? Like, that's the, you know, the, those are the, the, the two tenets mm. that you can have. And, and um, yeah, it really makes a difference when you follow yeah. up a lot um, uh, as opposed like to I just, you're yeah. right. And like, like I mentioned, it's like one of the, one of the best benefits we actually had from this thing specifically was just being able to show it to clients on sales calls. Cause like if like a lot of the time people yeah, for them to understand it logically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you, it's one thing to tell a client like, yeah, like we've got a system to get leads to show up. 
but it's another thing to sort of show it to them. And like, I think there's this psychology thing in sales where like, if you've spent all this time building something, it must work because otherwise, why would you spend all the time building it? Yeah. Um, and so we've also got like an appointment reminder process over here, which is, which is pretty thorough. But like, I think that like, when we, when we were running our lead gen agency and when we had it sort of in full flow done for you, it's like, you need to transcend being a lead gen agency and become an appointment booking agency because yeah. people don't really want leads. They want appointments and they don't want appointments. They want people actually walking through the door. And like the closer you can position your offer and your service to actually that end result of someone taking a foot and walking into their facility or location, whatever it is, I think the more money you're going to make. And we charge, we, as soon as we introduced this and it started working, we just like doubled the price per appointment because we knew that all of them would show up. <laughs> yeah. But like if you're charging like 50 bucks per appointment and only like, you know, 40% of them show up. Like if you get that to 80%, you can just charge a hundred dollars per appointment because they actually become more valuable. So yeah, yeah, man, I wanted to, you know, share it. And like, like I said, I'll put the more detailed video because there's, there's some more scripts and stuff. I'll put that on the YouTube channel on, on Friday if anyone wants to subscribe, but yeah, I guys. Like the fact to focus on service delivery, Max. Nobody does. Yeah, yeah. Um, so check out check out his video. I'm sure it's it's super valuable. I mean, this alone I think has opened eyes to a lot of people. Um, and yeah, I'll link the channel below, and uh, you guys can check it out. And thank you, Charlie, for for awesome. breaking this down. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. And um, yeah. And um, just to plug your thing as well, are you full on the 300 agencies thing? Because I know you're coming close to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, we have like 250 right now. Um, obviously you're in the discord. We have like a bunch of, bunch of people like who have serious, serious lead gen agencies. Um, mm -hmm. ever since I released that video, like there's a lot of, um, serious applications that have come through. Uh, yeah. so it's, yeah, it's really, really, um, knowledgeable discord. We share a lot of valuable things in that discord. I hang out in there and it's cool. And I noticed as well, like some of the clients we've got, like the big boys were like requesting to join as well. So I was like, Oh, this is cool. Like you've definitely got something good because yeah. <laughs> like people don't talk enough about service delivery, man, like myself included, but you know, it's, it's, it's the thing that sits under the hood, but yeah, mate, I'm really happy to be here. Um, if anyone wants us to collab again, I'm sure they'll let us know. So, um, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. All right. Cheers, mate. Bye bye guys. Ciao.